get me the Fargo case? The Fargo sighting was October 1st, 1948. A National Guard lieutenant, thank you, a National Guard lieutenant was about to land his F-51 at Fargo Airport. Captain Ruppelt gave me the details from the record. The pilot, after a routine patrol flight, was cleared by the tower to land when he asked... Anything in the way? There's a Piper Cub below you. Nothing else in the air. I see the Piper Cub. I see another light about a thousand yards ahead of me. It looks like the tail light of a plane. I think this thing is going to make a pass on the tower. I see it. The pilot dived on the light, and although he brought his manifold pressure up to 60 inches, he reported... I can't seem to catch up with the thing. It's gaining altitude and it's just made an impossible turn. A 90 degree turn to the left. You're right. It's gaining altitude on you. And it's still in a very tight left turn. By that time, they were at 7,000 feet, when, suddenly, the light made a 90 degree right turn. It's headed straight at me. The light passed directly over your canopy at, I estimate, about 500 feet. The object suddenly shot straight into the air. The pilot followed it to 14,000 feet when his plane went into a power stall. The object disappeared. The chase had lasted approximately 27 minutes. The officer in the tower was the airport traffic controller. The lieutenant was an instructor for the French during the Second World War. He said he was sure there was an intelligence behind the movements of the lights. He stated, too, that no earthborne pilot could have withstood the G-factor inherent in the object's turns and speed without blacking out. <laughs> 